Hi, this is Charles. We just got our Rattle 4 from Bushlarper and as you know from the forum and the mods, I've installed a custom Victron unit including an inverter charger and an MPTT solar controller. On the roof flat mounted, we've got a 260 watt solar panel. Now this is what my custom distribution box looks like. On the left we've got the AC so this is the 220 volts coming in and being managed and we've got the DC which is the 12 volt. So I've asked JC to wire up all the components in the Bush LARPA to run through the inverter system as well as the 12 volt units to run directly off the battery. So we've got a couple of 220 plugs installed, the outside plugs as well as the warm water geyser. That's all running through the inverter system which means if we're not plugged in from the short 220 volts I can manage all of that through the inverter should I want to. All the other 12 volt units and that includes my USB plugs that we've installed. So we've got 8 in total here as well as on the front unit which I'll show later that all runs off the battery system. So at the moment everything is managed through the shore power so 220 coming in and the Victron charger is looking after the battery. If we look at the battery meter you can see my battery is at 100%. I've got infinity because we've got 220 volts coming in. It's running at 14.28 volts and I've got a current of point call it 8 amps looking after the battery at the moment. It's still in absorption mode and we've got about 12 volts being charged through to the battery sorry 12 watts so just to show you how it works what I'm going to do now is cut off the shore this means no 220 volt coming into the system so what's happening at the moment is no 220 volts running the geyser although it's on does not receive uh, any power and it's just uh, DC units that's running. So I've got my fridge on, my pumps on, I've got my lights on, all my USB and external plugs, which is my Hello plugs outside, are all activated. So at the moment, because I switched off the 220, it automatically diverts it to the solar panel. So at the moment, all the power coming in comes from the solar panel. So it's about quarter past 10 on a Sunday morning. So we've got morning sun, remember my panel is flat mounted on the roof and as you can see my battery is still running at infinity. So at the moment the battery is driving my National Luna, it's a 90 litre twin as well as the head uh, USB light inside being on. If I switch it off, you can see in a minute. Um, so that's the amps that the uh, solar panel is giving at the moment because we're not drawing too much uh, power um, it's just keeping the battery uh, at a trickle state if I switch off my lights you can see there's a movement until the solar controller just equalizes the power again if I switch on my light the controller unit just readjusts the power voltage to the battery at the moment we're standing with some trees so there is some shade coming and going as the sun's going behind the, the clouds and you can see it's just equilibrating again and I've got some positive current coming through. Now what I'm going to do is activate the inverter system to simply switching. So what's happening now is the power is driving to all the 220 blanks and it's also now looking after my geyser. So again you can see the power unit just re-establishing power and keeping us at an equal state. So if I run my warm water you can hear the pump activating, you can see the power ouch, that water is piping hot switching it off and you can see how the watt units are changing so keep in mind at the moment I'm standing semi under a tree it's 10 o'clock in the morning I've got a flat mounted 
panel on the roof and I'm still getting a positive charge with my inverter on my fridge on my pump on my lights on and my geyser in maintenance mode so I've got a current of about 19 amps coming into the battery and my battery is at infinity just to show you the impact if I switch off the fridge and the pump you can see the current increases and because my battery is fully charged it will just keep the amount of power coming to the battery at a trickle state activating the fridge activating the pump you can see the unit maintains so effectively with this system in a slightly semi shaded area I should have near infinity power as long as the Sun is up so just to show you the other components Got another 220 plugs here. So each of these corner units have them as well as they. And if we run outside, I just switched my fridge on. So you can see the fridge at the moment hasn't even gone to its full power. It's running and it's busy cooling it down, which means it's not even in low maintenance mode. It's running on full mode. And that's the solar panel. Fixed mounted on the roof. And you can see we slightly standing underneath the tree. So hopefully that helps to explain how the Victron unit works. Thank you.